Hello guys and welcome to another video. Windsurfing tips, water start, uh, phase number two. Phase number two, level number two. Basically next video about water start. Last time we looked into how to do the water start, quite a lot of detail and starting with the hardest position where the cambers are like this on the water. Uh, today we're gonna look into a slightly different situation and this is the one where the cambers are positively angled I guess when they're lying on the water like that as you can see now in the video and uh, for me this is in a lot easier position to get the water start uh, from don't necessarily need to swim to the top of the sail uh, but it can be a little bit more difficult once you get the sail out of the water to switch the cambers so let's dive into the video and let's see how we do that so as you can see here, it's a very common position where the clue of the sail is slightly sunk. You'll end up in this situation if you just drop the sail to move the mast foot or change your downhill settings and you want to get going again. So first thing to do is once uh, you swim around the nose of the board, already start grabbing the board a little bit with your hand and start pulling it upwind a little bit. So you're not just swimming towards the rig where it is, but you're slightly pulling it up. And the goal of this is to make the sail come out of the water slightly, slightly more, and lay on the water more flat. Because if the clue is two meters below the water, you're not gonna be able to do a water start. As I swim towards the rig, you can see, I pull it slightly back. Then once I grab the boom, I pull it down close to the water so that the clue of the sail does not sink any further and as soon as I grab the boom I turn on my back and start kicking with the feet so that I can drag the sail and the board upwind. What happens when I'm doing that is that the sail is going up against the wind and the wind is getting under the sail so basically the wind is helping to lift the clue of the sail out of the water and once you feel that the clue has come closer to the surface of the water I grab the boom with one hand and try to swing it as fast as I can over my head so I'm not getting myself under the sail but I'm dragging the sail over the top of my head and I try to do this movement as explosively as possible and once I can I get my second hand in and I push the sail forward even more so that the sail comes fully out of the water. However, of course, even in this situation, you'll need to be doing the uh, breaststroke kick with the legs to keep yourself out of the water a little bit. Once you get the sail up, the cambers will still be pointing the wrong way out, so you'll need to get that, them over to the different side, as well as the board is pointing way too far up when usually, and the clue of the sail is lying in the water rather than on the top of the board so you'll need to solve these three problems if the wind is relatively strong like it is in this um, situation I'm with the 7-7 sail here um, then you can shift the camber straight away to do that you push the rig forward so that the sail is in correct position how you would sail against the wind the board position doesn't matter here and then you put the sail as far high as you can and then you suddenly and uh, forcefully pull down on the sail as you'd be doing a pump while you are on the board with both hands. Uh, with most sails which are correctly rigged you should be able to switch the cambers in this way. If this doesn't work you can always put your head in between where the camber and the baton meets and push it out with the head and then like in a normal water start situation as well you'll be doing pulls and pumps with the back hand slightly to get the clue of the sail and the lower leech on top of the board. Now you are controlling the sails with your hands. If you push the front hand and pull in the back hand, the sail will turn the board downwind. For this to happen, you also need to push down on the front hand a little bit to make sure that the power you're generating from the sail translates into the board and pushes it down. Usually the board is pointing too far upwind for you to make a water start. So you wanna make sure that it's pointing slightly downwind. Once you put the foot on top of the board, you try to keep the front hand straight 
and above your head so that the sail is standing as vertically as possible, collecting all the wind. You pull in with your back heel. So it's also important that you put your foot vertically on top of the board so that only your heel is on top of the board, as close to the middle of the board as possible, and the foot is not laying on the side. This way, you'll be able to push down on the heel and tense your hamstring, curl your leg in, and push the board under you as well as you pull yourself over on top of the board. If you put your leg sideways, your back leg sideways on top of the board, you'll not be able to put any power on it because it will cause too much pressure on the knee joint. You get fully lifted out of the water. Once uh, you're pulling down, pushing down with your heel, you're pulling with your hamstring, you're pulling the back arm, pushing the front hand forward and hanging off it, and that should get you on the board nice and quickly. And remember, once you're on top of the board, in order not to get thrown over, release the back hand immediately so that the power is let out of the sail and you can comfortably find a good position on top of the board and begin sailing. So, I hope these tips help you to do a water start when the cambers are not uh, facing the right way. Um, for me, it's a lot easier. Hopefully it is for you as well. Just remember to be really forceful and powerful when you're putting the sail up above your head. I hope now that the, your water starts are going much smoother and much easier and you're not losing as much energy um, during them. Which means that you can attack all your moves, all your sailing sessions, all your jibes with full commitment, full pressure and not to be afraid to fall in because you know if you fall in you just do each water start quickly and efficiently and you don't lose any energy over them. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about it write them in the comments. I have also launched a Patreon page where you can support the channel if you like it and if you want me to do more and even better videos which are useful for you, make sure you check out the link below, patreon.com slash as well. And uh, yeah, thanks and see you next time.